Check it out, bro. It loops around at the first one. I'm up here, man. Let's go. I'm hyped. Let's go. I don't know where to park. There's somebody standing there. You probably. What the hell? I need to park in. Damn, it's going down up here. I don't know where to park, but it's going down up here. Damn. Let me spin around, man. I don't know where the hell I'm at. Damn, there's bikes out here, boy. Let me be cool, boy. Let me calm down. Live, we up here, baby. We at the motorcycle race. Harley's. I'm following the Harley's in, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. This is probably good. I'm probably good over here. Yo, out of motor. Auto Moto America people, man. Y'all figure out this parking situation, man. The guys, the guy, the person like me that's never been here to like pull up, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm pulled up <laughs> and it's up. Let's get it. And it's stuck. So we out here at the uh, at the race. Let's see what's cracking. It's all kind of uh, vendors and whatnot. Air plugs. Yamaha, Harley Davidson. Go down here and see what's up. T-shirt. Get some of that gear. I don't know. How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Is this the only one you have in the large? Yeah, perfect. First class for uh, many guys, but not for all of the guys, including the Super Sport. Daytona 200 is uh, it's a Super Sport race, and uh, kind of some new new types of bikes that we're seeing as far as uh, modifications, but still, this is a race that you want to have on your resume, Roger. And if you win the Daytona 200, you have done something special. And there's your qualifier right there. It's a top qualifier. And John Perry, let's take a look back at the Daytona 200. Brent Posh, defending champ, the 96.
get any more right here. Look at that. Tetris. Like, I'm not really that great at Tetris, but everything goes in that dry bag. And then the rest of the stuff is like, I don't know, I got my GoPro in the back in its little case. The dry bag is which so one? So this is the dry bag. This is the uh this is the dry bag. And so this itself is huge. I mean this is a hundred liters. Okay. Damn, I didn't even know was, damn, I didn't even know that was a bag. So this thing zips, twists, and then it's waterproof. And it's got this air valve over here, and you squeeze out the air, and it gets small. It gets as small as you need it to get. Well, as small as it can based right. off the size, and then it clips together, and you squeeze that, and more air comes out. But I put my tent, my bed pad, I've got a, uh, got a little camp table over there that some of the stuff's on. I saw these chairs. I saw these chairs for like sixty dollars at Walmart or at at, uh, at REI, and uh, I got a uh, the Walmart version for twenty five bucks. And this thing, like this, is a small bag, right? And it's got the uh, the whole chair in here. It's a real deal chair. Yeah, you I mean you sit in it? How much was this at Walmart? Like 25 bucks or something like that. Cheap. Well, I put it on upside down. Yeah, it was cheap. Now, the, the difference is the weight, right? So, like, any time you get into, like, camping gear and, uh, they're, like, packable stuff, it's all about the weight. And I'm not actually carrying this up, like, a mountain or something, so I don't really care that much how, how much it weighs. If I had another person on the back of the bike, and all this gear, I would really care how much this weighs. But that's a chair now. That's a real chair. It is Papa Smart right here. Wow. Uh, I weigh just over 200 pounds, so this is, it's like a, it's sturdy. It's a chair. Yeah. And it's comfy, you can take this and go over there and watch the race. And it's perfect. Sit for gear. Don't ride after, but you can, you know, you can ride. <laughs> go to camp. I need the link here. for that chair, man. Because that can fit in the backpack. You can fit it in the backpack. You can put it in your water bottle pouch on the side of the backpack. Yeah, so, that, so that is in the bag. The tent fits in the bag. My sleeping roll fits in the bag. This is this is the, this is is the what you sleep in. Like, so so that, that roll is actually like the mattress thing. Okay. So that goes on the ground under me. And then I've got my, my my actual sleeping bag is in here because it's fat and it doesn't fit well in that. That is great with my long things. And I actually have a duffel with my like clothes and stuff inside of it. So this is my my duffel that has like all my clothes, yep. my other pair of shoes because believe it or not, these aren't comfortable to walk in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're good for riding, but... And yeah. all this is waterproof. And that whole bag is waterproof. So it could rain, storm, whatever. It did. It rained on me yesterday. Every single thing in that bag is dry. 
Was I? No. 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 Do you ride with rain gear on? I have rain gear in the back here. Okay. That's so, why I have that in the back. This is a pain in the ass to open up. Yeah. And if it's raining, I don't want to open it up. I want it steam water That's too. true. So I, I popped this open and I got my rain gear. It was put away, but I had to use it yesterday. So it's, it goes into the little stuff sacks. So this will go into this little pouch. Nice. That whole thing will fit in there. This whole jacket will fit in there. So it's the muffler. Gilbert, the we sold it for $400. So. Because this is a Ducati, so everything's on it. Because it's a Ducati, everything on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I put it down in some mud, you know, a few, like two years ago, and I broke a piece of this, uh, I broke this uh, front handle here. $3,000. <laughs> no, about $150. But it's for that, 150? for that piece of plastic. Right there. That's it. That's usually how much something like that carbon fiber would cost. Right, for anybody else. But yeah. I decided that I thought it was a good idea. It's not okay. John Perry's going to be Must have like open inspection yeah. at the end of the race. We're all pulling to inspection. That's the same thing with this one. Is it? No, I was gonna say, like, hey, motherfucker, you could have gave us a ride. Now, these are the actual base tents. This is their, uh, this is their hospitality. No, 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 no. The race bikes, right? Honestly, you know what I mean? It's like they're like. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, we found yeah, it. We, we made our way down. Good looking out, bro. That it loops around, and the first entrance goes in here, too. I was like, dude, that's Well, yeah, well. so we ended up going <laughs> yeah. that way, and then we asked the security guy, and he was like, oh, yeah, you know, that one out there would have been a faster way. I'm sorry, bro. I didn't yeah, know. Nah, it's all good, bro. Yeah, no, good looking out, out, man. I'm sorry, bro. All good. Yeah, be safe, Hell yeah, thanks, bro. It's a fairy. Oh, that's right. He took a spill earlier, right? So they're hooking it. They're hooking that bad boy up. They're trying to break the chain, getting it ready to go. Well, with the single side of the swing, that's probably the hardest part. I think this is from earlier. So they said he, he took a spill earlier. Look at those tires. So if you guys have a single sided swing arm, that's probably the hardest part to get this thing on. That's, that's right. They do get the single side. That's insane. The suspension is up out of the body like that. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I had no idea where it was. I guess that's how they lower it, right? It's probably why it, uh, how they do it. That's incredible. They're doing this stuff fast. The there's a piece of there. See how they got a couple of tanks over there for the, the tank covers? Yeah. And then I think that the silver part is yeah. over there. So you got the yep. big part and, and then the, the uh, silver one. Which I think is actually probably technically orange. It's still right. So these guys are doing a maintenance job. They do really fast. Like Everything. You go to the shop and they're like, oh, they changed the oil. It's going to take three hours. Quick question for you. Yeah. Are these bearings from earlier? When uh, when he took the spill? Yeah. Or? Okay. That's that one I was scratched up. <laughs> That's the real deal. Air pressure coming out of that bad boy. Not too much. 
how good we are after that. Yes, indeed. What you did last time doesn't matter. Never does. No. That's only to the fans. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. No, we, we feel pretty good about the weekend. They're both road good out of the gate, so just got to nice. keep building on that. Nice. So you got the pit bull stance. 100%. American made. Yeah. It's my boy Charlie, man. Absolutely. Hell yeah. We well, good luck, guys. Talk about man, we just don't talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell well, yeah. Well, good luck today. Thanks, dude. It's gonna be. I'll see you guys out there. Out. Have a good one. Two, two. I've been thinking about getting one of them. I want to run it on the Bro, bike. you have I want to, to have it. I want to get a model pod. It's gonna. Got to meet some, got to meet some cool people today. 
Got the meat van from Sports Bike Track Gear. Oh yeah. Checking in tomorrow, man. Peace.